at a garden party in the lovely grounds of the residence on St. Paul's Hill, their majesties were able to meet Malacca folk of all communities and in every walk of life, government officials, businessmen and social workers. They moved freely among the guests and chatted informally to all. But the visit was not just for leaders, it was for the men in the street too. The state drive, for instance, right around the town, gave a good view of their king and governor to the people of Malacca, especially to the school children who had a holiday to celebrate the event. of the royal tour was the ceremony of the presentation of dignitaries to their majesties in a balayrong sri with fanfares and full state regalia borne by mace bearers. The chief minister presented one by one 46 leaders of all communities, among them state and municipal councillors, members of rural councils and other prominent local citizens. was time during the tour for several royal visits. His Majesty paid a call to the Sir Henry Gurney Approved School at Telopmas, accompanied by the Minister for the Interior and Justice. They looked around the fine school buildings and gardens and inspected the workshop. Then the party listened while the school band marched and played for them. Meanwhile, Her Majesty, the Raja Permaisuri Agong, was engaged on her own round of visits to the Sungi Lere Girls School, where she inspected handwork and cooking, and also to the baby's home. The climax of the royal visit was the state banquet, when His Majesty referred to Malacca's mixed history, where the three races had lived side by side for many hundreds of years. It is now up to you all to safeguard its security, peace and prosperity, he said. The banquet ended with an all-community concert of Indian dances, typical Malacca Dondang Sayang, a lively dance from the Portuguese community and several Malay items. <laughs> proud occasion for Malacca, significant of her new status as an equal partner in the independent federation of Malaya. The east coast of Malaya has been patiently waiting its turn for the first official visit of the paramount ruler. And when the day came, the three states of Pahang, Trenganu and Kalantan went wild with joy to receive him with all the traditional colour and splendour of this glorious coast. First, Pahang. By royal train to Muntakab, where the royal party was received by the Tunku Makota and state officials as they changed to a car for the drive to Temelo. waited all day, clinging to the banks or their boats, eager to catch a glimpse of their majesties as they crossed the Songhai Pahang, while the Sultan waited at the Pakan Jetty to welcome them to his state. As the shadows grew long and the day faded into dusk, the royal party drove to the Astana for a state banquet through streets lined with hundreds of cheering schoolchildren.
happiest event of the Pahang visit was the fish drive in which everyone could join, enjoying the sight of their majesties in holiday mood as they struggled with a big catch. special ferry across the busy decorated her to the beautiful island waiting to welcome them. The official reception was Hester Wong Pauni. The salute and national anthem just inspected the guard of honor mounted by the police and volunteers. Thousands of national flags as they cheered the royal procession along the route of the state's drive towards the governor's residence. was the youth rally at the Georgetown City State. Subscribe Sulalatu Salake, channel YouTube Sejarah Raja-Raja Melayu, nombor satu di Malaysia.